Hi guys, today it's time to pick the team to play Portsmouth tomorrow, so let's get started. In goal, Anthony Patterson, the race might because he's probably had the dream start of the season with being in total honesty. Three games, three clean seats, he hasn't really been tested, and, and, and yeah, so, so, so yeah, not too much I can see, so yeah. Right back to the game, the race might once again, I thought he had a solid game against Burnley, defensively was sound, he tried to help going, going forward, and yeah. Yeah, obviously it looks like Timothy Pembelli is going out on loan, which does leave with a bit sorted right back as I don't think we'll sign a right back, but 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 yeah, yeah, Hume needs to be a little bit careful as he's on two yellow cards in three games, obviously he's three away from a suspension, which obviously he ain't Ingerman, but that's something you're just going to have to watch in the next few weeks, so yeah. Right centre back Luke O9 the reason why is because I thought Luke O9 was absolutely excellent last week against Burnley. And how some people do not rate Luke O9, I will never, never, never know. He's absolutely brilliant. And the debate on whether he's a defender or not has to stop. He is a defender. He's proven that that a manager after manager has picked him in defence. So yeah. Then next to him. Then next to him. Dan Ballard will return. Obviously, Adia Lace here is injured again. again. He's done his ankle this, ta this time, which, which is such a shame for the lad. He's a really good player when he's fit, but the problem is you could, we just can't get him, get him like fit enough for a good run of games. If you get, if you get, if you get one, get one. So yeah, obviously we're signing. It looks like we're signing Chris Methvin on loan from Bournemouth, which I think is a decent signing. But for this game, obviously Ballard comes back. Back in, and I've got no worries about it. Ballard, I still think he's our best centre back. Back if you get, if you get, if you get what I mean. And and I've got no problems. He'll do well. The only slight pop, like whether you have is how fit is he. But barring that, he came off the bench last week. He played forty five minutes for the under twenty three on Monday, so I think he should be okay. So yeah. Left back Dang a Serkin, the race mic because he was absolutely brilliant once again against um, Burn Burnley. Defended really well, tried to help help Mundell going forward and, and yeah, Serkin for me is being absolutely brilliant so far and is easily one of the best left back in the la league. Hopefully we can wrap him up in cotton wool during this international break, so yeah. Um, in midfield, first midfielder Alan Brown. Obviously, Dan Neil suspended. I thought Alan, I thought Dan Neil had a brilliant game against Burnley. Brown getting sent off, but yeah, Alan Brown will come in. Come in. Um, it's not his preferred position, but I don't want to say it being any means to it. We'll come in and do a solid job. I'm so so yeah. Obviously, it looks like Eck was away to um St Etienne, which given that apparently might be signing two midfielders is understandable. His game time is going to be limited, but but yeah, so yeah. Then next to him, I'll go for Joe Bellingham. Once again, he was absolutely brilliant. And Bellingham's had a brilliant start to the season. He dominates the midfield alongside Dan, Dan Neil against Bur Burnley. And, 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 yeah, what a brilliant start, start to the season he's, he's had. Obviously, he's going away with England um, under 20s next week, which is good for him. Let's hope he has a good camp and comes back fit. But, yeah. Right wing Patrick Roberts, the reason why is because Roberts is back to his best. He he was my man the match against Burnley personally. He was absolutely brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Caused worked so hard off the ball. Technical ability on it was brilliant, and he caused um, Burnley all sorts of prop problems. If you get so, so so yeah, there were some links of him going to Luton this week, but thankfully that's not true. And 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 yeah, Roberts has been good, and he's already matched his entire. Goals and assists last year. He only got two assists last year. He's already got two assists in the first three games. So, yeah. Number 10, Chris Rigg. The reason why is because Rigg was again absolutely brilliant against them. Um, and Burn Burnley, and I l absolutely love watching him. So much intensity there. There is what I love to say. Say and how he's seventeen. I'll not. I'll not. Not know. It's scary to think what Chris Rigg will be in like two, three, four years time when he's like twenty twenty one. But, but, but yeah, absolutely brilliant and should start again. So yeah. Then left wing with me and Mundell. He stepped into Jack Clark so then perfectly against Burnley. Brilliant goal. The the type of goal that Jack Clark would score. Score weren't with the goal. Like Roberts, he worked well. Worked hard defensively. He um caused caused them um, 
and Bernie a, a lot more problems and, and and yeah with the perfect start to him and any pressure he might have had had on him coming in for Jack Clark it's been like um a lit like a little bit lord if you get if you get me after that that and you and your confidence will be flying now now the question is can Mundell do it every single week like Jack Clark could do so yeah then striker I think he'll stick with Elias me and uh, Hopefully we'll bring a striker in to do it. De de Obviously you've got Wilson Aysador, who I think will be on the bench. But but yeah, I think he'll stick with, stick with me. me and he's done, he's done well, but I don't think he's good enough to play, play um, every single game. And I don't think it's fair on me and to ask him to play every single game as well. So yeah, so the subs bench as it stands, obviously a few departs. It's Simon Moore, Nick Torres, Durang, as Leo Yelder, Adil Aute, Tommy Watson, Abdullah Bar, Ian Pervida, Will... Wilson, Aysador and Nazatari Wilson. Obviously, a few could leave, like, I'll chase Barr and Wilson. I don't think Wilson will leave. I may be trying as, but, but, but that's the bench as it stands. It stands about quarter past one. So, if any leave, leaves, I've done that video about, about then. So, yeah. So, my score prediction, I'm expecting it to be a really tough game tomorrow against Portsmouth. Um, I think we'll concede, maybe because of the slight change at the back. Back and, and, and yeah, but I'm going to backwards for a Portsmouth 1, Sunderland 2. I'm going to see a Chris Riggle score because he's been due a goal, and I'll see Elias Meandel score. So, yeah, so that's the end of the video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, view, comment, and see. Yeah.